All right, guys, here's the video review for KFC's King Gorilla and Kongor, uh, their version of Ape Face and Spasma. Um, there is Kingzilla coming as well, their version of Snapdragon, which I'm really looking forward to. I had Snapdragon as a kid and uh, always dug him. I never had Ape Face. I've never had any version of Ape Face, come to think of it, so this is my first time. And you can see it's hard getting him all in the, uh, in, in the screen here. Here he is in his space jet mode and he's very wide and very long um, i just took out a measuring tape a minute ago he's 17 inches long if you go from the tip of the nose all the way to the end of these little thruster effect parts back here and he's about 13 and a quarter inches wide wingspan so he's, he's a pretty he's flat and wide which is uh i think fairly accurate to the old toy uh in jet mode it's a it's a nice jet mode it's a nice heft to it um like i said flat and you do get these thruster pieces with them, which you can or you can choose not to use. You don't have to use these for them, uh, but you can just uh, pop them off the back if you prefer not to. Or actually, you have to put them on to use them. So there's those. They're not. They're just a little bit too big to plug onto the front of the guns, though. So they're they're really just for the thruster parts here in space mode. Unless I guess you could flip his hand in and give him like a flame effect on, on his fist if you wanted to. The guns, now only one of these lights up currently because they each take, uh, each one of these little pistols uh, takes three 626 batteries. They go right in there. They're just little tiny button cell batteries, uh, A626. I the, it each takes three, and I had four of them. So I can show you, like, they, they light up. There's a red LED in there, um, and they both do it. I've checked them both, but I can only leave the batteries in one because I only had enough. But so there's the, the effect of that. And you can flip that handle up to make the peg. And it can peg on. You can peg it in back here too if you want. There's different places you, if you want to have the guns down here. I can peg them in under the wings, but it's entirely up to you. The instructions even show them in both positions. And the transformation of Jet, it shows them plugged in back here. When you attach it to its stand, it shows them plugged in under here. So it's up to you where you want to put those. He does come with what has become kind of the standard KFC stand here. A little hard to see due to the white and translucentness, but it's the same old stand. And then there's a little square peg that can go right in here on the bottom of the Jet. And you can display the Jet in a pretty dynamic uh, flight pose. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a little different than most jets you're using. You can see just how, how thin he is from top to bottom, but it's a pretty cool looking jet. So we'll come down here. We've taken off the, uh, the thruster pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the guns off. Let me bring this back down. I'll pop the guns off here on the sides. There's also the, the other LED feature is. Um, is in the cockpit, and I don't have the battery for that. I thought maybe I could finagle one of these uh, CR twenty thirty twos into there, but it takes a CR twenty twenty five, and it's a little smaller. And I don't have one of those. But uh, you're you're looking for uh, a CR twenty twenty five, and it's basically one of these kind of nickel sized batteries. But when you open up the cockpit. This little cock uh, was popping up right here because the headmaster popped it up. But uh, this little cockpit panel lights up white. Um, and there's a little switch right here. You have to, once you close it, you have to manually turn it off uh, with some little tool. There's a little switch right here. But uh, when you open the cockpit, it actually flips that switch on. So it's a little light up control panel that turns on when you open the cockpit, which is kind of neat. We'll go ahead and pop Spasm out. Nope, it popped off. There we go. It's a little ball joint at the hip, I fixed it. Um, so here's Congor himself. And then, like I said, this panel, here's where the, uh, the battery would slide in. It's just a little metal panel. And again, if you have the round battery, this one's too big, but you just, where, where this little tab is, you just slide it between the foil pieces here. Like that. Like I said, this one is too big to be of any use. I just pushed a little piece out of there. So, so don't use uh don't use a CR20. Oh, no, look at it lit up. It worked. So there's the switch. So, hey, 
So that is, that is, that is slightly too big of a battery, but we did get it in there. Um, so put the control panel in. Turn it off. Fortuitous happenstance. Um, and when you open the cockpit, the control panel lights up. If you want to leave it off or on, you can turn it on or off manually. That's kind of cool. Oh, and yeah. If you <laughs> if you try to close the button uh, with the button off, it will. Uh, it, it, you want to make sure you turn it off with the cockpit closed, or it will cause some conflicts between the button and the uh, and the tab that turns it on. But yeah, and again, you can if you want, you can turn it on from outside. That's kind of cool. So anyway, on to Congor. Uh, his little headmaster mode. He's got ball joint shoulders, hinge elbows. He does have a head swivel. That's how he turns his head in robot mode as well. Um, ball joint hips and hinge knees. He also has a couple little magnets in the bottom of his feet. And uh, there's a couple little panels here on either side of the cockpit that you can lock him to. And uh, onto the jet. So you got some room to mess with that too. And then he sticks to, like I said, I've, I've had him hanging onto a fidget spinner. I can, yeah, here he, here he is uh, hanging onto my lighting assembly up here. So anything metal, anything magnetic, he should be able to stick to. You can see the, the monkey face and this robot face on the back, but we'll get to those later. So we're gonna go to monkey mode here first, and like that's the one that is the most involved. Uh, robot mode's fairly straightforward, and I'm gonna see if I can remember all the little tips and tricks to going to monkey mode. So first off, we wanna pop off the uh, tail shield with the fins just like that, and we'll put that off to the side. We've already popped the, the guns off, so we're good there. Go ahead and unpeg these arms. These are going to be the monkey feet down here. Let's see if I remember how to start. We definitely want to take these side panels and lift them up. Get them up out of the way. We need to come under here with these little red tabs here. Untab these and flip them up and that frees this whole assembly to fold in half. And we want to get the arms out of the way here. I'll go ahead and fold up the landing gear on the arms. Uh, the last click here is very secure. It holds them in place very well in jet mode. So you may have to use a little bit of uh, extra torque to get them uh, to fold down initially and locking into position at the same time. But like as long as you've got a, a solid grip and you're not like at the extreme of the uh, of the piece, it's not like a super amount of force. You're not going to be like oh crap. But it, I mean it, it does take a little more force than the rest of the. Uh, rest of the rotation to get them locked and unlocked from that front position. So we get these out of the way here. And that will allow us to pull the legs out. As I, guess I, I say legs, his robot mode legs out. And once that's done, we can rotate these panels back down because this whole waist assembly needs to rotate around for gorilla mode. All right, there we go. Now we'll bring this back up to here. And here's where it all starts to get a little tricky because this needs to come down, fold up the nose, fold in the landing gear here. Actually, no, leave the landing gear out, down like that. Um, so this comes up, and this comes up on all the hinges. It's, it doesn't just fold up like this, like it does for a robot mode. There's actually a hinge further up, but you wanna make sure this all comes out. Go ahead and flip these up out of the way. So, the arms come out, or the robot arms, these pieces come up like this. You wanna rotate them so that tab is facing up. And you also wanna rotate them so that the, uh, rotate the inner piece so that the hinge goes this way. So now you've got the hinge and you've got the rotational that way. 
this comes down and here's where here's the here's the tricky spot of it because um no it doesn't come down that far oh wait does it whatever um no it goes up okay um you've got to get these to fold in why are you not there we go fold in and tab into here you can see that these there's slots here on the backpack that these arms tab into while keeping this up and above it now getting one up there not all that difficult getting the second one in is can be a little bit of a pain and that while also keeping the first one attached the, the best thing to do is really just kind of get it close as, as tight as you can and it should look like that now there's a couple little tabs here on on the side of these black pieces there's a little tiny rotational tab here but you can use the screwdriver uh, to get started but you got to flip them out right here there's one on each side you can kind of you can do this without using these but it, this makes it a whole lot more stable so go ahead and slide those down. Now the legs, here's where it all starts getting a little crazy. These pieces you wanna pull out, you wanna rotate them around so they face like this. And then you bring them up. And then this little tab here in the foot, there's a little peg hole in the foot, is gonna peg onto this right here. So you, you need to extend them just a little bit. They don't collapse quite all the way for this. But bring it around and trying to get that perfect rotation in here. But uh, tab them onto here. There we go. And then this, and if you do it right, it should peg in here, and then the angle, this angled piece of this foot uh, on this should fit right up under this arm. You can kind of see how like the arm comes right up against the foot there, and then tabs into this peg here on the bottom, like that. Let me do the same on this side. Make sure to have this piece down. This is going to tab in somewhere else. So we've got all that. And on this, you want to flip out these two panels right here on the side, these little triangle panels. And this will fold down and form like the top of his backpack here. And you can, you can fold these down. You can, the instructions leave these up, but I think they look better folded down alongside the side of the backpack. Now, we're going to bring the gorilla arms around. Well, like this. Okay. So get these out of the way and you'll see this peg right here into this slot so bring this down I want to have this in here and work that in the tugs right here like I said when you rotate the arms up so they sit here and kind of lock in under these little tabs on the side here and then plug put these red panels up and that kind of locks the whole backpack together fairly securely the lower feet, you push up on these little sliders, lock into place, bring the foot down, flip out the toe. And these are going to be his little monkey legs. And you can't actually, like, the, the joints are tight enough. Look at that. I mean, like, you've got a big old mass of chunk up here. And the joints are tight enough where you can hold it like that. I mean, he can support himself on those ancient joints. They're very strong ratchets down in the ankles. Now onto the arms here. We're gonna take the wing and open it all the way up. We have popped his, one of his fingers off as is customary. Oh no, we actually broke one of his fingers. Well, 
be careful of that. I was I was told to be aware of that. I thought I was being careful, but apparently uh, not careful enough because uh, the wing. I've heard the the pinky, or the thumb could be a problem. I oh, know actually it was his pinky that I think he, uh, I think uh, Andrew mentioned, but uh, yeah, it got snapped there off of the peg. So uh, be careful with that. That's disappointing. But then the the fins itself, you just kind of collapse up, and you'll see the little groove here on the arm that, that folds into and collapses like that. No monkey wrist swivel, sadly. Anyway, oh look, well that one just that one just came unpopped off, so that one we can fix easily. Man, and Andrew warned me be careful of the pinkies, and I uh, specifically was. Oh nope, that one cracked off too. So, uh, huh, that's super disappointing because I was, I was super gentle poking those in there and closing up the wing on top of them and, uh, they both came off. <sighs> kind of makes me sad because uh, other than that, I've been having a lot of fun with this dude. Well, I went off there for a second. Um, so yeah, get him in monkey mode. Just like this. And again, uh, Kingor here. He's got his dual faces. Fold them in half. There's his monkey face. And his mouth opens. And then he just plugs in right here. Oh, there's actually, there actually are some little tabs on his arm when you fold them in half. There's a couple of little tabs here on his arm that go into the back of his face and that whole lock it all together. So make sure you get those pushed in and then snap his head into here. And because of his, his, his robot head, or because his smaller robot head turns, you can turn the monkey head. All right. And this piece plugs in up here onto his back. And you can attach, you can slide it open a little bit and there are, you can open it, and uh, there are a couple peg holes here for his pistols, for his rifles. There we go. So you can give him some back cannons. Now a lot of pictures and in the instructions show these fins as sticking up. Maybe that's uh, something, I hope I push this all the way on, instead of just halving it. There we go. Uh, show the fins up. And I'm not sure if that's an homage to the original toy or whatever, because I find it's much nicer if you take these and kind of fold these panels down to fill out his back. It kind of covers that backpack. And uh, just gives it a little smoother silhouette. But yeah, there he is in monkey mode. Gorilla mode, I know, gorilla. No monkeys and apes and gorillas and all that stuff are all different. I was technically going to see an ape because he's ape face. Anyway. And this, I do have a quick little size comparison here for him, if I can find him. Here he is with Optimal Optimus in monkey mode. They're both robot ape jets. Monkey jet robots. Although Optimus, 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 Optimus also has that weird convoy truck mode, but still. So yeah, um, that's, man, that's super disappointing. Uh, sorry, Andrew, I tried to follow your advice, and uh, a floating cat, the guy who does uh, Chosen Primes videos, was giving me some tips. And I did, I folded those up, I thought I was being super careful. And you can see there's just those tiny little posts. So something to watch out for if you have... This guy, because they didn't, they weren't broken out of the box. They were folded up in here out of the box. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take this all off. Pop off Kingor here. 
We'll just turn them around and we'll get ready for robot mode. Brighten that up a little bit. And to go to robot mode, I'm going to fold these back up into here. I guess maybe you don't have to be quite as careful now because uh, he's missing his pinkies, but. hands up in there and then close that up just leave it like that again same on this side open up the wing hold this up hold the hand down at this joint make sure all the fingers stay compactly in there Shut. Pull it around. Now, oh, one of those panels popped off again. That's easy enough to fix. Um, and then we just start disassembling all this stuff. Pop this out. Unhitch these. We should free up the shoulders to come out. Then freeze up this to come out. All the arms. And pop the legs from the pegs. This is all free. We'll go ahead and reattach this. Bring the legs. Fold this assembly or unpeg this from here. Fold this assembly up. Fold it onto his back like that. Bring the, I'll bring the front waist piece out. Fold the legs down and in. And Latch them together back here. Latch that front piece on. Bring the legs down and around so the screws come to the inside like that. Put down his feet. Fold these panels straight to the back. Put down the feet on this side. Make sure the legs are fully extended. Bring the uh, Again, fold these panels down to form the waist and rotate the waist back around to the front. Stand them up. Talk here to the upper body. So this comes up. Might collapse his body down like that. See that? Right, just like that. Bring the arms around, fold these up. And uh, fold, make sure to fold these pegs in before you try to close this up. So bring this around and this tab is going to lock in here. Just like that. This tab also comes around, locks in over here. Bring his robot mode arms down. Fold this up. And there's a couple, there's a tab here that goes into here and some tabs here that go into here. Fold this whole assembly up. There we go, like that. Make sure so the hinge comes back into here. And then just make sure all those tabs tab into place there. Fold this down. Fold the wheels in. Fold this down. Collapse that hinge and just fold this up along the back. Rotate these up. Rotate these back. back in. There we go. There you go. You don't have to rotate these all the way angle straight up. You want to have a slight slight angle back on those to give his arms room to move. But we'll fold those up. Fold the monkey arms in. Oh, also in monkey mode this middle piece is supposed to flip out to form a heel spur. And you can do that. It looks silly, and like you saw, the ratchets have a perfectly are perfectly capable of supporting him without flipping that out. But it is there. Anyway, flip these back and around, or flip these back up like this, back over his shoulders. No, these should. No, 
absolutely fall down. Bring his elbows around so they face the front. Rotate his arms around. Open up these, flip his main hands out, which also have super articulated hands, although I haven't noticed any stress issues putting his these hands in and out of here. Just stand already. Anyway. Lock back in, there we go. And you take his head, and this is what's cool, you take his head and you can see there's a little spring here because if you open up his chest panel, he actually has working tech specs. That's kind of cool. Nope. Oh. His head sticks in very tightly. Just pull this whole thing up. Let's. Nope. All right. Got all that. Oh, come on. pushes together there we go now he's a little back heavy although I have not had quite as much trouble getting him to stand as I have this time right now because obviously I'm shooting a video and that means it's time to for every little flaw to become apparent which on the one hand not the end of the world if you want to kind of know what you're getting but at the same time there are things that are not an issue when uh not shooting, but his guns can peg into his hands, or tab in, and he can hold them. I'm not sure which one has the LED in it, not that one. Let's put this one in this hand. Then we'll turn on the LED just to show that off. And the shield can attach on this arm and you can rotate it. you can have it facing back like this as a shield if you want to you can rotate it forward and kind of make it like a cutting weapon bring those forward like they're blades up to you you knock the backpack loose but yeah there he is Like I said, I think the head's maybe a little big proportionally. Um, he does have a big backpack, but that uh, seems to be uh, reminiscent of the original toy. Um, but he's got got a swivel at the head. You, you, that's just the up and down is really just more of wiggleness in the joint, um, like in the in the attachment point. It's, it's mostly just a side to side swivel. You can give him a monkey face if you want. <laughs> So he's got uh, ratchets out of the shoulder, ratchets forward and back. He's got a just above the, just under the bicep swivel, um, dual hinged elbows, so you can get a pretty decent range of motion out of them. I feel like there's a way that you could fold these down to lock these in a little better, but um, he's got a swivel underneath, right underneath the elbow. Again, for transformation, wrist swivel, uh, ball jointed fingers at all the joints, all of them individually articulated on each hand. It does have the waist swivel, we saw that during transformation. <laughs> Ratchet hips, swivel thighs, uh, dual hinge knees, which you 
can, if you bend them back here, there we go. Get a pretty decent range of motion out of those as well. Uh, we did the thigh swivel. He's got some ankle tilt uh, and some ball joint there, front and back on the foot as well. And because of transformation, you can get some ankle, some poses out of his ankle and toes. So yeah, it's KFC's version of Ape Face. He's, like I said, he's got some really neat things. I like the opening mouth on the gorilla head. I like his little headmaster. The LED features I think are really cool. Um, I mean, the gun's just a gun, but I like, uh, you know, it's just standard little, hey, look, my gun lights up. But um, I dig the cockpit opening mechanism. And, uh, like I said, monkey mode, he's very hefty, he's very solid. His jet mode is, is impressive. His monkey mode is like, it's a silly kind of monkey, but again, going off the original triple changer, <laughs> he was a silly looking monkey. Um... And like I said, the, the, I feel like his head is just slightly too big for this body, but the more I look at it, the more I feel like when I look at the whole thing, I feel it's more appropriate than uh, initially did in pictures. Those those pinkies, man. Because like I said, I was not, I did not roughhouse or uh, mistreat these at all. Uh, for those to pop off, that's, that's kind of a, you shouldn't have that happen. And I don't know if maybe they can thicken that peg here on the finger, or uh, if they're thinking they maybe offer replacement pinkies when you get it, um, or change something. I mean, I think it's too late to do any of that stuff. Uh, just so if you get them, just do be careful with these pinkies, because like I said, I did not. Uh, I was I was warned, hey, be careful with these, and I was. And still, as soon as I opened that, you know, one popped off, you know, rolled out as soon as I opened that thing. And there was no indication when I was closing. I had no, you know, I made sure everything was tucked away and folded up nice and tight in there. There was no indication when I was closing it that I was hitting any sort of resistance or that I was, you know, like maybe I'd gotten a finger stuck in one of the grooves. Um, just kind of out of nowhere, it on me. So I'll be careful with that if you decide to get it. I love the functioning tech spec meter. That is. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. That was really cool. Um, I like I like the basic design of his head. I know they're saying I guess he's they're re revamping the head. Um, I kind of dig this look, but whatever. I'm looking forward to the Kingzilla. Uh, I love Snapdragon. Like I said, I don't have aside from the pinkies, solidity wise, he's he's very solid. Um, maybe a few more panels during transformation that. Uh, I would prefer not to have to deal with, and I say I prefer, I would prefer not to have to deal with because all of those little, the little flip out tabs and the way these little red pieces plugged in, all made the the gorilla mode very secure. I mean, like like I said, I, I absolutely understand why they put them in there because um, it does lock all that stuff together very well. Um, it just would have been nice if there would have been a way to do it without all those little pieces, those little things to remember and tab together. Um, I think I think I think the biggest issue is those little tiny tabs uh, on the arms that the uh, or on that was on the hips that the legs pegged into those little tiny black tabs. Uh, getting them started is a little difficult the first couple of times, and once you until you realize exactly where they are and where you can get your fingernail or whatever underneath to pry up. So neat idea. Um, I wish, like I said, I wish the pinkies were a little more solid. That, that's really my one, one main complaint. Um, probably look better with a couple Decepticon symbols. But yeah, um, like I said, in the, in the contest for Best Monkey Jet Robot, Optimus Primal is still the one to beat. Um, but he is, in fact, a Monkey Jet Robot.